Good afternoon, Bruin fans, and welcome to another edition of Something Bruin here with Coach Cook, episode nine here of season 2022. And Coach Cook, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. You know, on the eve of a district championship game, you know, it's a good feeling. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. And I know that, uh, you know, Coach E, Coach Jones, uh, send me the stats. And, uh, you know, I also have, uh, have a friend that covers the, um, high school games and he was at deep Creek, uh, last Friday. He sent me the stats, Gary Laster, but I had to, I had to go ahead and, um, do the membership of, uh, online pilot online and read the article here of, uh, Larry, Larry and Jamie and Marty O'Brien here with uh, covering high school football, especially what tomorrow is for our um, annual uh, senior night game. Absolutely. You know, it, it's our, our message this week to our guys is it has been quiet the noise. You know, don't listen to the noise. Really, just stay locked in. We understand what we have uh, at state. We understand, you know, the opponent we're going to have opportunity to compete against. But, you know, all the extra, you know, media outlets and the just Twitter and social media hype, you know, we wanted to keep our kids grounded. So that's been our message. Our kids have also been echoing the same message. You know, just, you know, don't listen to the noise. Yep. Right. And I know with, um, let's see, like we've said before, you know, when you took over, you know, then um, that uh, pandemic all across the nation, you know, uh, happened and uh and when and when you actually did the first year uh coaching it was actually a mini season in the spring the mm -hmm. the last two falls you know we've started here at week zero 10 straight regular season games this year same same schedule i know we uh i know we got a win by uh forfeit their labor day weekend but it is um you know, this year, the uh, the game here at the end of October is our home game, senior night, and then next Friday will be our bye week. Absolutely. Well, you know, for us, that, that spring season felt like a, a real one, in my opinion, because we attacked August, September, October, once we were, was released in 2020 to work with our kids in person, just like it was a regular season. You know, we, we had to install our offense, install our defense, and special teams. We did have a uh, seven on seven opportunity as well. Um, but yet, all we everything we did felt like a regular season. Although we played in the spring of 21, um, you know, we that was our approach. And I believe that led to our success in the fall of 21 um, in the season we had, as you mentioned uh, earlier. And then Coming out of that season, out of that season, our seniors did a phenomenal job, as you mentioned, you know, laying the foundation. And this 23 class, which is a very talented one, has we used this term earlier this week, carry the torch, you know, carry the torch. So they've done a great job. Um, and you know, just to be here, uh, one thing I've shared, I believe we're 18 and four in, in two years, in two seasons. Um with a current record right now, 18 wins, only four losses. So we're doing something right here at Western Branch. Uh, but then, you know, after tomorrow night, we do go into our bye week. Um, that's a week of healing, a week a week of preparation. And it's almost like the uh, NCAA tournament. You know, you kind of see where you're going to be seated, you know, for March Madness before it all starts. So um, at the end of the day, we're in a good space. Uh, our kids are healthy and uh, we're, we're getting ready for tomorrow night's uh, game. Yeah, and let's kind of review here last week. I mean, um, you know, with uh, – you want to talk about uh, tradition, Western Ranch football, I mean, going out to Hardy Stadium and, uh, you know, playing playing Deep Creek, you know, I mean, and, uh, and hey, for the, for the first three quarters, I mean, it was a, it was a knockout, drag out, tw 28 – 20 game. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Um, that's what we expect, you know, playing deep Creek, just like Churchland and any other opponent as a rivalry of us, we expect all records, all stats be thrown out and it's survival of the fittest. Um, 
our, our defense found a way to get off the field third quarter. I felt that was their best quarter collectively as a, as a unit. And uh, offensively, we just kept chipping away. And uh, special teams did a phenom- phenomenal job. You know, Riley Higgins with his sky kicks really pinned them on the, on the 35 and left that returner no choice but the fair catch. So, you know, we did a good job in all three phases uh, that, that has really put us in this alignment that we're in right now. Yeah, and I mean, um, you know, I felt like wearing my Western Ranch jacket here during the episode because uh, I know the weather has gotten cooler, but uh, but boy, I mean, um, they're in the backfield and running the football, you know, not only with his blockers, but long runs week yes. after week. I mean, number nine puts in another 200 plus uh, uh, yard per game and yeah. only at 14 carries. Yes, special. And, and, you know, the funny part, it's not even a gimmick offense. Like, we're really playing football. We're, we're doing everything that you see on a Saturday or another Friday night um, under the lights. And, I mean, nine is just special. You know, he gets it done. He doesn't care about how many touches he gets. He has that mindset of when he touches the ball, he expects to score. And in most cases, averaging 14.97 yards per carry, he's he's <laughs> he's scoring quite a bit. Uh, but, yeah, Blizzard has been phenomenal. Shamik has been great for us. Uh, quiet leader, um, gets it done with his actions, not his words. And uh, he's really put this team uh, on his back. Also understanding when you get into playoff season, the ball touches the ground a little bit more, you know, with the run game versus in the air. So, uh, you know, we're, he's healthy as, as he's ever been, and we're excited about that. But uh, he's, he's definitely going to be an X factor for us going, moving forward. Yeah, and like I was telling Coach Black, you know, uh, since, we, since we worked together, I mean, uh, last, year, last year in the playoffs, you know, um, I think it was the Manchester game. I mean, we had, we had somebody that mainly played on defense, and, um, you know, didn't play that many offensive snaps, but his number was called there um, during the Manchester game, you know, caught a pass in the flat and went in for the uh, what turned out to be the go-ahead score. So, I mean, we're at the part of the season that, uh, hey, every play counts. And you know what? The first uh, eight games, your number hasn't been called, but, you know, be ready f- because it's uh, crunch time. Absolutely. Um, it's all hands on deck. I-, I think that's where you were going. Uh, every phase, every player on this roster belongs, deserves to be here. And uh, you just got to be ready. You know, when your number is calling, your time is is uh, up and, and you got to make a play. You just got to be ready. Uh, all of my kids have been coached well. You know, big shout out to our whole coaching staff. Um, every kid gets their one-to-one position coach uh, by position group. So, you know, at the end of the day, I know that gives me confirmation that all of our kids should be ready to play when their number is called. So, you know, um, this week I I will look at just everybody has to do their job. You know, if we talk a little bit, not moving too far forward, but this week is just do your job, you know, and uh, play team football. We call it one brewing. But we don't need one guy to make a big play. You know, we need all 11 to the ball defensively. We need all 11 executing offensively. And then we need all phases of special teams to execute their operation. Um, but this is a good week, a good test to get us really ready uh, for our playoff opportunity and playoff run. Yes, and uh, the other thing is, I mean, with uh, with it being our, uh, our senior night, you know, uh, I heard Monday, Monday that uh, our um, high school was already starting to uh, prepare for Friday's crowd, bringing in extra bleachers. You know, you and I have said over and over again how how far back we go, Western Branch, and so some of the some of the newer people, newer fans, you know, might have big eyes, but you know, since we've been um, tied to Western Branch here for a good while. I mean, that was that was the norm here when Absolutely. we would play Deep Creek, when we would be the host of uh, 
of regional games back in the day. Absolutely. Um, you know, and it's good to see our kids, our, our 22s, our 23s handle it. You know, these 2020 uh, student athletes, they, some of those guys could have played in the 90s and the 80s and 70s, if that makes sense. They're throwback uh, uh, kids, if that makes sense. But, yeah, we're used to it, you know, but we've been preparing our kids since I've taken the job, you know, and looking at some film and seeing empty stands and potentially only parents and support to be prepared. You know, the community will be back in here, your fans, your classmates, you know, your friends and family. So um, we've delivered in, in, in that. And of course, winning helps, right? You know, so the fact that we're winning and having success on and off the field, that's also a draw. Um, so yeah, we're used to it. We're excited. Our kids are, I think homecoming the last two years has really got those guys kind of, you know, understanding what this stadium could look, sound and feel like on a Friday night. So tomorrow night we're expecting all the Bruin Nation to come in and, and, and make all the noise in the world and make it very tough for Oscar Smith to have any success. Yes, and it will also be uh, be special here as we as we honor the seniors. Um, yes. What uh, what before the, before the game and the um, and the seniors here that have been part of uh, the Bruin football program and just you know just uh just one of those facts of life of here it is senior year of high school and you know playing the last uh regular season game on your home field it goes fast um the, the cool part about this i met those guys second semester of their freshman year so we've been able to build all but one semester if that makes sense up to this point in all phases of life, which is beautiful, which is fun. Um, and some of those those messages, like what you just mentioned, I shared with those guys when I first met them. Number one, we're on borrowed time. Like we got to understand VHSL only allows 40 games in four years. You know, uh, playoffs, I said, it's just icing in on a cake. But you got to understand each opportunity you get to play 10 games each year, you got you to gotta maximize it got to enjoy it you got to you got to soak every bit of it up because at one point in time there's going to be a big hug a big handshake and and a big thank you um but one thing that i love about our program we work with our guys beyond a game of football we still connect with our seniors you know we got men within our coaching staff that can create job opportunities once they graduate um our staff is you know qualified to write letters of recommendation for their position group or any student athlete that we want. And ultimately, um, just this past Sunday, our coaches meeting, you know, I encouraged our staff, I know we do it already, but just to reach out to all our young men that are currently going, to, that are currently in college, you know, give, just give them a quick checkup. How you doing? What's going on? You got any questions that you can't get answered at the university? Reach back to us. Maybe we can find out. But just assuring them that we care, we still care, we still love them. Um, they're still Bruins. And that's the beauty about this program. You know, they give us four years, but yet we're committing ourselves as men to them for the next 40. So, you know, that's the beauty about where we are and how we go about what we do here at Western Branch. And it's nothing new. Uh, it's a philosophy used at the next level. Um, but we have adapted that philosophy to the high school level. Yes. And, uh, you know, so uh, let's see. So JV, JV is so with uh, varsity having senior night tomorrow night. JV is probably uh, you know get ready to go on the bus and uh, you know go out the Great Bridge Boulevard. And you know, so much has been said about Oscar Smith's uh, varsity program here since 2004. But I mean, Oscar Smith's JV football. I mean, so this will be a good test here for Bruin JV tonight going out to Oscar Smith. Yep, I believe both teams are tied with the same record right now, only one loss. Um, so, yes, tonight will be a good test. And obviously what we look for, what I'm looking for, is it a tremendous amount of growth and development from A to Z, from the beginning when we started in July, or really technically when they, when they were able to join our program some uh, late June, January, some early June, July. And, you know, did they improve? Did they grow? Uh, you know, I know Coach Thomas and 
Coach E, along with the rest of our staff, have done a phenomenal job developing those young men and lady. Um, but at the same time, you know, tonight is their big night. You know, we want to see those guys go 1-0 and tonight um, and see if they can answer the bell against a quality opponent in Oscar Smith's JV. Yes, and uh, let's see. I know that uh, – I know with also coming to the end of October, you know, the um, – the future Bruins, uh, Western Branch Middle and, and Jolliffe Middle here. I know that middle school athletics, you know, doesn't play as many as many games as at the high school level. But, you know, they should be coming to the um, near the end of their regular season. Correct. I believe all middle schools have one more game left. Um, right now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not wrong, um, Western Branch Middle is undefeated, you know, so they're currently 6-0. and So they have one more game, one more challenge, and I believe there's a middle school championship game where they or playoff where they may have an opportunity to, you know, win the city. So we'll see. Coach Dale Bridge and his staff has done a great job, it's, and they're running our system. That's the beauty. So those young – those those student athletes coming up – they already are familiar with the name tags of our formation and alignment, things of that nature at the middle school level. So when they come up, it's not new language or foreign to them. And then that allows them to catch up to how we do things here at the varsity. So, you know, we're excited about that transition. Um, and then over at Jolliffe, you know, this is a rebuilt year. We understand that last year they had a very good team. Uh, much Most of those guys that uh, came up, to the high school and join our football program. So, you know, eventually I, I give coach one more year to kind of get his, his system in and or come around us and see how we go about things. And then, you know, again, that's another school that could be running something very similar to what we do here to help that transition. Um, so, yes, uh, right now to kind of get back where you were, I know I kind of went left and right, but Ultimately, you know, West Branch Middle is in a good spot, but yet both middle schools have one more game, regular season game left. All right. Yes. And, uh, and you know, our Bruin, our Bruin football flashback. I mean, you know, that uh, segment here that we've, uh, that we've started, uh, we started about halfway through the episodes uh, last year and then we've mm -hmm. consistently had it uh, uh, this year, but uh I just want to bring up that, uh, you know, 2003 is the last time that we won an outright district championship. So 2003, you know, that that was still some of the uh, players there from the 2002 state semifinals, you know. But then 2004, mm -hmm. that was my 10-year reunion. And the homecoming game was against Greg Boone and Oscar Smith. And that's that's the first time that, you know, in this winning streak that Oscar Smith came to Western Branch, you know, beat, beat us. And I know in 2006, we shared the district championship with Oscar Smith, you know. So I just wanted to bring up here just, uh, you know, just some – former memories here of Oscar Smith, Western Branch. Correct. Yep, yep, yep. Um, you know, I'll I, I tell you what, mine is playing at Oscar Smith in 97. Um, that, that was a neutral site. Uh, kind of bothered me a little bit seeing that the high schools now can play at their home field during playoffs. But, you know, that was ours. You know, that was, that was our, uh, my memory, our memory. Um, and then just knowing that, you know, Oscar Smith just watching him progress throughout the years and even being up north, you know, a lot of Northern Virginia schools, 6A schools, you know, had a tremendous amount of respect for how they go about what they do, what Coach Morgan has done and what it meant, what he meant to that program um, and building it up. But I remember watching that 04 game, I believe on YouTube, and again, standing room only, no, you, could, you couldn't see one bleacher. Uh, in the stands. It was so packed. But uh, yeah, it's a lot of good memories. You know, hopefully we could create a new one tomorrow night um, and, and you know, give West Branch something to be excited and, and cheer about. Um, so we'll see. But yeah, those, that's my flashback. Um, you know, having Kellum. It was Kellum that we played there and then eventually uh, Kickatan, we played the second round, um, the, the game, the regional championship game. So, yep, that's my flashback memory. 
Yes, and uh, I'd like to bring up here before we have uh, final thoughts, you mm-hmm. know, uh, the VHSL, you know, I've kind of seen it here uh, last year and this year, you know, just kind of like how college football does when October comes, you know, oct- uh, you know, college football puts out, you know, the, uh, the rankings there, top 20, you Correct. know, the VHSL, you know, they're pretty good about Monday afternoon, you know, having the uh, rankings out there. And since Franklin County lost last week and we won, you know, we moved up to number four. But, you know, Thomas Dale and Manchester continue to battle it out. Yeah. Uh, right now they're tied but for, for second. But for Oscar Smith, number one, us four, I mean – you know, one through four here is within 2.6 points of each other yes. here with two weeks left in the regular season. Yes. And and as I mentioned earlier, you know, after tomorrow night's game, we're kind of in that uh, kind of like by week, but yet we're in that, you know, what it looks like for March Madness, you know, because those teams still got to play tomorrow night and they got one more game beyond us. So a lot can change within another week from Friday, um, tomorrow. So, you know, we're, we're in a good spot. You know, we, I would like to say, would love to be one. We would love to be two like last year, but we understand a forfeit and a, and a forfeit game and, you know, uh, things of that nature, it, it kind of hurts more than it helps. Um, excuse me, but, you know, we, we are a deceptive number four seed, I would like to say. You know, we have potential to be a one, but we're at four, and four is not a bad spot. Um, um, so, you know, we'll see. We'll see. De- definitely we don't want to be five, I'll tell you that. But, uh, you know, we're in a good spot, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, it's uh, – and 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 fans, you know, stay tuned to, uh, you know, my Facebook page, the Western Branch uh, football Facebook page, Twitter page, because, you know, as – the team goes into their bye week next week. You know, I am not taking off here for uh, covering the standings. You know, so I'll definitely be uh, be locked in and, uh, you know, hope hope that maybe we can, um, you know, still have an episode here next Thursday because I know that uh, with uh, Virginia Tech having Hall of Fame weekend next yeah. weekend, you know, Vince Hall – Vince Hall is going to go in, you know, so definitely a lot to uh, talk about. But uh, but first things first, tomorrow tomorrow night, uh, Coach Cook, I know that I plan on getting there early, and I know that we've said it over and over again, but fans, if you're going to come out tomorrow night, you definitely want to make your way out to uh, 1968 Bruin Place early have some time, find parking, and get in. Absolutely. I believe there are going to be four ticket gates open for tomorrow night. Just make sure the lines are not, you know, too long. Um, senior night uh, ceremony starts around 530. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just going to be a special night. This is a good group. I've been blessed to have three senior classes so far, and all three, you know, are, are very special in their own way. Um so tomorrow night, you know, please get out there early, um, grab your popcorn, grab a seat, and uh, just enjoy the show. But, um, you know, it's going to be a good night. You know, I, I, we feel very well, uh, feel very good about this tomorrow night's uh, matchup. Our kids have had a great week of preparation in spite of some of the distractions that occurred on Monday and Tuesday throughout the week. Um, but, you know, we found a way to make a way. And uh, we're, we're on the eve of senior night, um, so we're excited definitely excited yes and uh are the football parents gonna gonna try to have a concession uh again tomorrow like they did at the homecoming no uh tomorrow night the uh i believe the lady uh bruins basketball team will have that so the girls basketball program will be running the away concession stand um but it's it's just gonna be a whole lot of everything you could think of from the band to the cheerleaders, to the players, to the Bruin crazies, you know, it's just, it's going to be a lot uh, Friday night and, you know, our, our community will be ready 
uh, prepared and excited. Yes, and uh, on the way home from work, uh, there with uh, a couple of uh, classmates of my sisters, you know, I sent a text to Lorenzo and and Sharon, and they both uh, they both came back, you know, saying uh, go Bruins there tomorrow night. And I said, well, if you guys can't make it, you know, stay tuned to my facebook page you know because i'll definitely be uh covering the game there tomorrow night exciting times absolutely um i connected with marco hernandez and he's coming up from north carolina for tomorrow's tomorrow night's game so it's a lot of uh alum that that are happy and pleased where we are you know and excited where our kids are it's not us you know we can't take any credit the kids have really put in the work they bought into what we try to implement week in and week out and they get all the glory. So, you know, we're very pleased with the young men that we have within our program. Absolutely. Yes. And, uh, you know, you bring up Marco, you know, you already have Coach E on your coaching staff. I mean, there's yes. those are two guys, not only classmates, but, you know, we go back all the way to uh, first days of, uh, of junior high. So definitely, definitely be good to see, uh, see Marco. I don't think I've... Uh, seen him since we graduated right right awesome he's been following us so definitely you know um i, I stay connected with him from time to time and and you know again we just know it, it's it's so many so many out there even at the early 2000s the 10s and in the 20s you know those guys are still following us um and what we're doing here at western branch and they're all a part of it that's why we call them Bruin Nation. But, you know, it's, it's going to be a nice night. It's going to be very exciting. Um, you know, um, I believe uh, Emmett Blunt will be coming as well. So it, it's, it's going to be a good atmosphere, you know, for, for all, all the eras. You know, we, we really want all the Bruin Nation to come out and, and really fill these stands up and cheer these young men on. Absolutely. Yeah, and, you know, you bring up, you bring up, uh, you know, some names from the past, but I just want to bring out, um, I know that Elizabeth and I had something uh, pre-planned last Friday night, but definitely paid attention to the game. But I'm sure it was great to see uh, Coach Jay's son, uh, yes. Brian, there yes. on the sidelines as, as he was in town here with working with Georgia Southern football didn't play till Saturday, so he was able right. to come on out and support the Bruins. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, it was great. You know, another Bruin alum. So, you know, at the end of the day, that's what we want. You know, we want we want our, our guys to come back and support our young men, support our program, and, uh, you know, the sky's the limit when you have that type of support. Absolutely. Right. Yes. And, uh, you know, Rashad, um, as we, as we uh, finish up, here, you know, I mean, there's Bruin alum here, Mike Sharp, that gave gave me the platform. You yes, reached sir. out to me last August, you know, um, to to have this idea. Coach Black, you know, he he's like, hey, why don't you call it something Bruin, you know? And I was like, hey, that's kind of catchy. So, you know, I mean, to have to to have a platform here to promote high school football. Um, where we went to school, you are the first alum to lead the football program and how we do it, you know, um, week in and week out. It, I, kn I know that I, um, you know, I certainly enjoy this time and certainly appreciate your time. Me too. It, it's fun. It's fun. It's organic. As we said before, it's, it's not scripted. You know, we, we really say what's on our heart and our sleeves. Um, but yeah, I, I appreciate it, man. Mike Sharp has really put us in a good alignment um, to be able to share our story of our young men. Uh, we have about 12 guys. I'm not going to say their names individually, but eventually they'll be on our platforms. We have over 12, I believe, or 15 that were AB Honor Roll student athletes of the month. And the reason why I say that is, you know, they're not just students going to school. These guys have extracurricular activity two, two and a half hours after school on top of schoolwork, and they're still finding a way to get it done. I expect more in, in marking period two, but right now there's about 15, 12 to 15 guys will be recognized as they be on the road student athletes. So, you know, academically, that's that's a key uh, in recruitment. That's a key in just having total school success. 
So we want to continue to encourage our young men to win in the classroom just as much as we're winning on the field. Yes, I mean, because, you know, uh, I mean, no matter what sport uh, a boy or girl, you know, plays in, you know, I mean, when they want to go at the next level, you know, whether it's their own coach or whether it's their guidance counselor or whether it's on a recruiting trip, you know, people always say, if you don't make the grade in the classroom, there's no time to play sports. So first is to do it in the classroom. And then, you know, second also, you know, be a community person, yep. you know, and so that that's just awesome to see. Absolutely. Uh, we got a couple of community service projects coming up as we get, you know, a little closer to the holiday uh, months and seasons. Um, so we're excited about that. You know, our kids, our biggest for us is to give, you know, don't always have your hand out receiving something, find a way to give, find a way to give back. So, you know, Coach Thomas is kind of working on some things where we could do a couple of community service projects, especially for our seniors and our juniors that are getting ready to transition. Um, so, you know, that's something else to, to really be excited about in the next few weeks. Yes. And, uh, my sister's kids, they uh, they linked uh, my Instagram account to my YouTube channel. Uh -oh. I finally have taken the time to uh, find out how to post videos to the YouTube channel. So, you know, when we wrap this up, this will go on the YouTube channel. And then I just, you know, paste the link there. Yes on Facebook and other social media outlets. So, uh, Coach Cook, um, you know, any uh, any final words here out to uh, Bruin Nation for tomorrow no, night? Yeah, we just, we're in a good space. You know, we're in a good space as a staff, as a team. Uh, like I said, the biggest thing for us now, we're getting healthier. Um, last year, we, we were down four or five guys, you know, going into these opportunities. Uh, and, and not getting them back until the second round of the playoffs. So, you know, ideally we're in a good space, uh, excited about tomorrow night um, and, and ready to go, ready to go to work. Yes, and uh, I think uh, I think weather weather is uh, might be a, might be a little cool there yeah. tomorrow, but definitely great, uh, great football weather yeah. last Friday before Halloween. Absolutely. It's football weather, man. Bring a blanket, bundle up, and let's roll. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be a, a, a nice, crisp, you know, Friday night. Um, and, and, again, we're just blessed. We're, we're thankful. We're grateful. Um, we're, we're humble. We're grounded, you know, as a program. Uh, we don't take each week for granted. We don't take each day for granted. We don't take each opportunity to compete for granted. And that that's what's so refreshing, you know, as a staff and as a team. Kids come out and they want to get better every day. Um, so it's, 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 I guess the word I'm trying to find or use is, it's no, we're not surprised we're here. You know, right. we feel like we belong. Uh, we put in the work um, and, and these kids deserve this opportunity. So, yeah, we're in a good spot, man. But it's Friday night. It's going to be some, some good football. Yes. And, uh, and, you know, and fans, I mean, uh, uh, you know, if you have if you if you have uh, Verizon Files TV, you can't even get Fox. You know, so don't even think about that other other baseball game that's starting tomorrow. <laughs> Just come on out and support your uh, Bruin um, Bruin football team. And uh, Coach Cook, I'll shoot you a text when I head out uh, y'all's way there tomorrow. Okay. And uh, go go get them tomorrow. And uh, thanks again. Absolutely. But well, thanks for having me. Um, we appreciate everything you guys do, Bruin Nation. Thank you. Yes. And so, uh, all right, everybody. Well, hey, that's Oh, wait, wait, Mark. Mark, yeah. wait. We forgot to give somebody a shout out. Yeah. Uh, you yes. you want to give them a shout out? <laughs> that's right. Here, I would like to give a shout out here to running backs coach uh, DeCarlos Mitchell here as he shifted from one position coach on the offense last year to a new one here this year. So maybe with the yards that number nine has been getting, you know, I know that Coach Duncan coaches the, the line. Oh, wow. 
but you know, it must be the running backs coach. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So big shout out to coach Mitchell, Mitchell for his request. So we give you a big shout out. Uh, we definitely appreciate him. He's a heart of our program, you know, uh, Kingsford, we really missed him. He was absent that game um, due to personal reasons, but you know, he, he is more than what you think he is. You know, he's funny. He's, he's uplifting. He's loving. He's caring. Um, and he is the running back coach. So, you know, we really appreciate Coach Mitchell. Uh, just want to give a big shout out one more to Joey Clayton. Uh, he's done a phenomenal job this year with our field. Um, all the details you see is kind of handcrafted by him and, and his envision and design. And uh, I mean, it's, it's thankless and countless hours that he spends out there um, every week or every other week. So I just want to tell him personally, thank you for you know, his dedication, his volunteer services to our football program the last two and a half seasons. So it's been great. Um, outside of that, man, we're ready to roll, big dog. Yeah, and Joey Clayton, I've I've also heard uh, Paul give Tavis Graves yes. a shout out. And Absolutely. I want to say that both of those two, you know, and they're, uh, I mean, I think they were from my sister's class, yes. Lorenzo Chiron. I Absolutely. Mean, so, you know, hey, um, community, we don't make this up. We are just showing how tight the Western Branch community is. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, well, hey, like like you guys have said, you know, Coach Cook and I, we, we might text and have a few bullets on what to talk about, but nothing is scripted. We just, we're just two booing alums that are just talking you know from from the heart and with you uh leading this football program me you know following you guys and just being a 35 year you know fan here yep. of brewing football absolutely man that's awesome yep yep all right well hey i think we've um i think we've expanded um we've used all of our nickels so uh so hey uh, Bruin Nation and even um, the fans coming from uh, from Oscar Smith, you know, plan on coming uh, early. Like Coach Cook said, four gates will be uh, will be open to try to uh, try to you know ease the crowd with coming in. And five thirty is when um, the senior class will be uh, starting to get recognized. Correct. Five thirty. Absolutely. All right. So, uh, hey, I think uh, I think now we just need the game to get here. So, uh, go JV Bruins uh, tonight and uh, Bruin Nation. See you out there tomorrow night. Absolutely. Go Bruins. All right.